there have been some big changes to Helium lately. And if you don't know what Helium is, it's a decentralized network, IoT, Internet of Things. There, there's more. There's a lot more to it, but let me just sum it up with the most interesting part, at least to me. You can earn passive income by basically putting a radio in your house. My best Helium miners earn 20, 30 bucks a day but there have been some negative impacts to my helium mining profitability recently. And today we're gonna to be looking at what is negatively impacting my helium mining profitability and how I'm gonna to try to fix it or things that I'm hoping will help. My name is Vosco on the Voscoin YouTube channel. This is Tails, she's the head of our legal team. Make sure to slap that subscribe button and today, well, we're gonna jump into another fun, crazy helium video. If you're looking for the best way to earn passive income, that's gonna be mining cryptocurrencies. Specifically, Compass can help you start mining Bitcoin today. And not only do they sell Bitcoin miners, but they will connect you with co-location mining farm hosting facilities. Learn more about Compass by clicking the link in the video description below. I've been very vocal about helium mining over the last year because helium mining is the most profitable form of cryptocurrency mining right now. Don't believe me? Try it. But there have been some negative things that have happened with helium lately that have negatively impacted me, other helium miners, and above all, basically, our helium mining profitability. First off, I do want to lead with the simple fact, and just to be clear, Bobcat has never paid me to say this. We do have an affiliate referral link, all that stuff. but. The Bobcat Miner is absolutely the best Helium Hotspot Miner you can buy. It's my most profitable mining rig. I've had the best experience with it. And the fact remains that they are a manufacturing powerhouse. That is why they are the largest Helium Hotspot Miner manufacturer on the Helium Miner network now, even though they were definitely not the first to start. So if you do want to get a Helium Miner, please click our link below, support the channel. You do have to check out with cryptocurrency if that's daunting to you. We have a full video guide on how to do that and uh, make it a smooth experience for you. I also want to take a brief moment to recommend against ordering a Synchrobit Helium Hotspot Miner and recommend against ordering an SPNA Helium Hotspot Miner. Okay, and who knows, maybe I'll get another legal letter. But the fact remains, I don't recommend ordering either of those Helium Miners. Those manufacturers or resellers, in my opinion, have not been doing a good job. And the same can be said for Nebra. We have two full videos breaking all that stuff down. That's not the point of today's video. Today, we're talking about POC V11. Okay, so this was a note. Uh, this is a little bit older, but basically here that POC 11 will be activated soon. Some tips to prevent unnecessary earning loss and misunderstandings. Okay, it's a new algorithm activated by POC 11. Signal loss that is calculated by the algorithm with POC 11 that does not match with the antenna shown on the Helium application will be judged as an invalid witness, which will cause a fluctuation, which that translates to a decrease in your Helium mining profitability. You're gonna mine less HNT, the Helium coin, which turns into simple mining less dollars but let's talk a little bit more about POC so Gristle King has a nice article here that kind of helps summarize and put these things on screen but the short version is to use a low gain antenna report your location and antenna gain accurately if you're in the US he claims that this is not going to be a big deal as our radios pump out enough power because the US uses 915 frequency as opposed to for example EU Europe and the EU 868 frequency in those other regions, this update will significantly decrease your range, which simply put, will decrease your helium mining earnings most likely. It's supposed to help the network more accurately assess location for radio frequency and keep hotspots in RF regulatory compliance. Cleans up a few mistakes helium made early to try to assess radio signal strength and attempt to combat gaming or really manipulation and, and false earnings with uh, their earlier helium miners because th this is a new blockchain a new network they're developing this this isn't forked from someone else someone is going to fork them eventually amir halim 
the main man at Helium Inc. Incorporated. No monsters there, my friends. Uh, he breaks down what we just basically had the TLDR on. And a good note that he also includes here is that POC V11 does not have anything to do with the 10 witness maximum or witness randomization changes that were added recently. And what exactly is that? Because we have talked about super ultra powerful helium miners, very high up, very intense, calculated antennas, high frequency pointed at cities, on mountains right outside of them, things like that earning absolutely insane earnings like i'm talking hundreds or maybe even a thousand dollars a day a ton of helium coins hnts those were very clever very advanced very just technical deployments and the fact remains is that that is not the way that they want their network to be built out it's an interesting change and it's certainly been met with some pushback but to be honest, from me and my personal point of view, I don't plan to really build the helium miner tower of the world. And so this is a change that positively impacts me because the way I'm deploying my miners are at friends and family's houses, and I'm just, you know, putting them on the windowsill and kind of leaving it at that. No one wants an antenna on their roof. If you choose to do that, well, more power to you. You're probably gonna get better performance. You're gonna get more witnesses, which means you're going to have higher helium mining profitability, simply put. But that comes with technical tinkering, right? Knowledge. And again, you have a giant antenna on your roof. You call up your buddy, he's gonna be like, dude, get the hell off my roof. We're not putting a giant white cylinder device on it, you freak. Hey guys, it's Miss Vosk, and today I'm here to talk to you about Invita. Invita is all about environmental data tracking and mobile crypto mining. The Invita project is a decentralized blockchain-powered ecosystem designed for the future collection of essential environmental data. With its self-developed drive mining technology, Invita has created a globally independent foundation to help track, collect, store, and utilize mobile environmental data. Invita provides passive income by mining 11 different cryptocurrencies, including Invita token, through its drive miners. By integrating different sensors into their mobile multifunctional crypto miners, they came up with a concept to collect environmental data. They also have their own token, which will be launched on Polygon. Their sale will be launching soon. Check out the link in the video description below to learn more. This does bring us to the topic of Helium Hotspot antennas. And we absolutely recommend ordering your antenna from Rack Wireless. This is not CalChip, to be very clear. I've ordered antennas from them and I've had a great experience. I ordered, I got it pretty quickly, even though helium mining is absolutely, you know, in crazy demand. Rack Wireless is also behind Minted, and they do make, obviously, the Rack V2 miner that Cowchip used to produce and did an absolutely awful job to the point that they had to launch their own retail branch. And a quick note on Minted is they recently had their drop, and a lot of people were frustrated, myself included. I wanted to partake in the drop, try to order a couple miners, and I sat there along with everyone else smashing the green button for an hour, and I couldn't get a single order through. They had 21 million website visits. But what's really cool about Minted is that they have accountability. They literally apologize and say that it sucked and it wasn't a good experience. And how can you not respect something like that? They're raising the bar for like that, just, you know, transparency, selling miners that are ready to ship and everything like that. And that's exactly why that we, we have approached them to say, hey, we would love to have a Voscoin green spot. Actually, we approached Rack Wireless, well, several months ago, but the demand's been crazy. Things have been crazy here. And, you know, it just kind of fell by the wayside. We also made a proposal to Bobcat for a limited edition Vosquin helium miner. Because, like, how cool would that be? But they don't have the capability to take on a project like that now. And Synchrobit said that they could do it. But they won't even ship their normal miners. So I don't know what's going on with that. But after my last video slamming them on their just, you know, simply put, poor business practices and just kind of lies, um... Our relationship's not the best. It's, it's a little rocky. But anyway, shameless plug, I'll link this out below and comment on our thread on Bosco and talk our forum if you would want to order one. This would be a ready to order drop, all, all that kind of stuff. Uh, but basically this, this thread helps them gauge the interest and I'm gonna keep bugging them until we can push something through because that's what life's about, having a little bit of fun, but I'm getting off topic again, my my friends. Um, so the, the POC V11, which um, I, I should have said this earlier, but POC V11 has been rolled back, okay, because the Helium like network recently came to a halt. 
the Helium Network has been doing terrible lately. It's pretty, it's like actually sad because when I got into this, the the network was small and the app was so great. Everything was so fluid. The app that like it was just it was so incredible, right? And now the app's going down. People are getting hotspots. They're trying to add them to the network because they're so excited and they've waited po probably months to get it. And then like oh you can't add it to the app. You can't send transactions. Can't update the location. You can't transfer a hotspot. You can't use discovery mode. You may see zero balance to your hotspots. It's fine. Don't panic. But the fact is the app's not working. The API is down. The blockchain literally halted. And again, you know, Helium is dealing with growing pains. And I'm frustrated just like everyone else. But the fact remains is that Helium has been recently, with their HNT coin, bouncing off new all time highs. Their network is bigger than ever. A network that is bigger than ever is more valuable than ever. And you may be like, screw, hold up. <laughs> That, that, that network doesn't even work and i'll be like you're right <laughs> when it's down it's definitely got no value but when they get it back up which they inevitably will well now that network is more valuable than ever again they're building something new and i get frustrated and pissed sometimes absolutely but you also got to cut them some slack for the simple fact of like they are working on it it's not like it's it's evident they're trying and they're navigating a difficult scenario but they should have a lot of people trying and working because they're helium inc you can't use their logo with things if you want to and they get a 35 percent cut of all the rewards that's an insane amount of money like we're talking just millions and millions and most of them are big hnt bag holders which are now helium validators and they're getting a big cut so anyway maybe i do i sound bitter i'm not bitter give it to the miners i'm not bitter uh but seriously it's uh they, they got plenty of money that, that that fact remains and they're backed by google ventures among other vc firms hey guys it's miss Vosk. i'm here today to talk to you about trust nft trust nft is a platform that provides decentralized nft loans and an nft marketplace it's backed by ai and big data and evaluates NFTs and unlocks the potential for them to be used as loan collateral. This allows users to combine DeFi and NFTs to earn a yield on selected NFT-backed loans. Trust NFT was designed to solve some problems in the NFT ecosystem, including low liquidity, investment risk, monetization of assets, and NFT evaluation. The team behind Trust NFT is Docs and are open to questions in Telegram. Their private sale is live until the 29th, and users can also join their pre-sale waitlist. Check out our link in the video description below to learn more. But yeah, to bring it back to my point here is that basically, potentially bigger antennas are going to be less advantageous and it may be worth it to downgrade to a smaller antenna, especially for EU regions. But I'm still doing my research. I'm still doing my field testing. I don't have a firm verdict on all of these things. But again, the fact remains that I really encourage you to buy a couple antennas if you have a miner that you're either unhappy with the performance or you want to explore even more potential profitability get, getting more witnesses that's a key piece to how the hnt mining rewards are distributed and shameless plug we do have a referral link here that i am using that participation to help in my pitch to get a green spot which would be so freaking cool but unfortunately like i said earlier with these recent changes halts POC v11 and then rolling it back to POZ, POC v10, which if, if you don't know what that is, basically it's like the latest version, kind of simply put. Um, but I uh, just, so Scott right here tagged me. He's like, hey, just so you know, I'm not pulling your leg. Uh, he's got more than one miner. Most of the 50% drop is from the past few days. You can see by the graph and, and basically just, he claims to have changed nothing and his rewards are down. And many other people are reporting similar things. Me personally, my rewards have been diminished recently, but the whole network went down, it stopped. And so, you know, with that in mind, it's not necessarily surprising. When this happens, all the manufacturers have to make updates when they get them from Helium, and then they have to push them to their miners. This introduces so many potential problems and hiccups and everything that, okay, the network goes down for a day, but it's probably gonna take a week for things to kind of get back into the swing of things. So although all of the recent Helium news is not, you know, necessarily great or incredible the fact remains that the helium coin is at a great price it's definitely on track in this market to still continue trending towards 100 a coin as we discussed half a year ago and it's a bigger network than ever it's more valuable than ever so i'm still really excited i'm still really bullish and you're going to see a lot more 5g things from the helium network in the future which 
well, not to sound like a cheesy ad, but like it's, it's that's gonna be a game changer in some very interesting ways. So I'll leave it at that. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please make sure to subscribe to the Boss Coin YouTube channel. Hit the thumbs up, leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on helium mining, how your experience has been, what miner you've ordered, everything. I'd love to hear from you. As always, I appreciate you. Please join the Voscoin Discord server. We have the best Helium Discord server in the world. And also, check out the Voscoin Talk Helium Mining Wiki, maintained mainly by KTP, nothing short of the most valuable HNT resource in the world. So, I'll see you guys tomorrow. We're uploading daily. Thanks so much. And uh, hope you have a great day. Please be advised, there are scammers impersonating us on multiple platforms. I don't want your money, I just want you to smash that subscribe button. Everything in this video is for entertainment purposes only. That means it's not financial advice.